we're going to start talking about um, alerting at work. Do's and don'ts? Do, yeah, we can really say do's or don'ts right. or right or wrong. What's okay right. at what point? You what's know, crossing the line? What's crossing the right. line? Like, I think we all agree that like having a work husband or a work wife is going too far. Yes. But yes. do we think that it's like human nature to kind of just... It's kind of natural yeah, to know, flirt with yeah. your co-workers. Exactly. Yeah. Like when you've been working with somebody for so long, you're going to get caught. You're going to get comfortable. Y'all are going to be around each other. You're going to, you know, pick up on some of their habits and stuff. Like, it's just... And it's, it's just inevitable. And it makes your shit go by. And it's just for fun. Yeah. Yeah. Never nothing sexual. Never nothing beyond that. Other well, than what? Issue. Well, <laughs> some people see flirting as sexual. Yeah. yeah some, some people see talking as cheating. Just you engaging with somebody else that's not your mate. Yeah. Else, so if you're engaging with the opposite. So if you're giving somebody a compliment... Like, if I say, hey, like, I like your hair, or them pants look good on you today, that's not cheating. No. Like, you know, that's, but flirting, but that that should be okay, given that I'm in a relationship. Right? Flirting a little bit. Flirting a little bit. It all bit. depends on what your attention is behind your flirting. Yeah, flirting, but not being disrespectful. Like, like, you can let somebody know that they look good and they're attractive without taking it too far and making your mate feel uncomfortable. Okay. Um, so, it's up, so is it up to you as far as the trust? Um, because... A lot of the stuff the mate will never actually see or hear about unless you were to tell them. So is that like a personal thing? I think so. Like yeah. you, you, like everybody has to know like their levels. Like you know, when you're in a relationship, you you know what you don't want someone to do to you. You know how exactly. you don't want someone else to make you feel. So okay. that's just like the norm. That's just the bottom line of relationships when it comes to cheating or anything. You know what you wouldn't want your mate doing yeah. to you. Yeah. What you wouldn't want them doing, you should do. Yeah. Okay, let's try to let's take it. Yeah. Even little... even if the levels is different, because everybody's levels is different. Like yeah. I might be okay with something that you would never be okay yeah, with. Say, sometimes there. women, especially in relationships, they can be like a little jealous. Yeah. You know, they they're not gonna like you acting a certain way towards another female. Yeah. Okay, so it's so buying lunch. I remember we were talking about that earlier. So yeah. if so if so, mm-hmm. would you feel? Some yeah, type I, of I, 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 I can't. There's no way that a female can buy my man lunch and okay. I cook for him. I'm going to feel okay. some type of way. Okay. I'm going to feel some type okay, of way. Okay, I ask you this. Is it different if a female bought him lunch or cooked him lunch? Like, is that different? Is it more like... Which personal? one is more personal? Yeah, bitch, if you cook for my man, I got a problem. Because I know, like, women who can really cook, you put your time, your effort. It's love that goes into cooking. When a real woman is cooking, it's love that goes into that. Yeah. And you you thinking about what you're doing when you're making it. You want everybody to enjoy it. So, yeah, I don't know which cooking for my man. Not at all. Okay. Not at all. You can buy him a $3 double, but that's the fuck it. So, everybody got their own limitations yeah. when it comes yes. to um, flirting do's and don'ts. Yeah. All right. Um, 